Right. Dedido resident Remy Lloyd is visibly upset with the Guam Election Commission for sending her name with 27 others to the Attorney General for a misdemeanor charge. Lloyd applied to be a precinct official for Guam's primary election, but was never contacted by GEC to become one. And somehow her name ended up being forwarded to the Attorney General for failing to show up on Election Day. But she didn't find all this out until she read the front page of the newspaper. Because, uh, just being uh, accused of uh, misdemeanor on the front page of the PDN is pretty bad. And I, I'm quite upset right now. I, I don't know. I've, I've been crying the whole day since yesterday. Because uh, I believe that my name has been tarnished or damaged. Because I have been a model employee for a very long time. So. I Executive Director John Blas says this is an unfortunate situation, adding it was human error on the part of his staff. He explains Lloyd was identified as an alternate precinct official, but never showed up for training and thus was never sworn in. Despite mentioning that their records show GEC attempted to contact her, Blas mentions Lloyd's name should have been removed from the list sent to the AG's office. The fact that uh, Mrs. Lloyd did not appear at that alternate seminar the fact that she was not a minister of the oath of office uh, in no way obligated her to be at the precinct. So again, human error, again, uh, is a factor here. However, Lloyd says she never received any messages from GEC that she was hired or to go to any training seminars. She believes it was miscommunication and wants a letter of apology from GEC and her name to be removed from the AG's list. I uh, was never notified. I have been home waiting for calls. I uh, never at, uh, attended a training nor or neither took an oath because, as I said, I wasn't notified at all. Blas has since issued a letter of apology to Mrs. Lloyd and also sent a letter to the Attorney General for her name to be removed. Furthermore, he says in order to ensure this situation doesn't happen again to others, GEC will be more diligent in double-checking its work and the lists it sends out. And of course, you know, these are lessons learned. And again, with the processes and, you know, literally the hundreds of processes that we need to do, um, we just need to improve that uh, again. Uh, you know, not an excuse, but, you know, with, with uh, you know, with the shortage of staff, I mean, already the staff is overwhelmed with what we need to do. But again, uh, that is no excuse for us, uh, for, for this happening. And given all that's happened to her, we also ask Mrs. Lloyd if she would consider applying to be a precinct official again. That re remains to be seen, but as I said, I love working. I uh, probably, probably, perhaps... But right now, I'm quite upset with the, the GEC staffers. Josh Tikenko, PNC News.